Morrison and I'm going to show you how to make a scrub cap. Um, it only requires two pieces. So this one, when you cut it out, it, it prints out in two pieces and you tape it together right here. This we call the whale shaped piece. And this is the second piece, piece number two, we call the balloon shaped piece. So you need to cut one of these and two of these and these are both cut on the fold of the fabric. So we're going to start with this balloon piece. Um, there's two options for how to make this. You can make it a little bit shorter so it ends here and just fold the end of it in a quarter inch and a quarter inch again and make a narrow hem here so you'd sew this seam. Or you can do what I did here, which is to add an extra inch on the bottom of this piece here, and that's going to allow us to make a little elastic casing at the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is just fold over the quarter inch on the bottom here. And then fold it in again about a half an inch. This is going to be our casing for the elastic. Press that down, and then I'm just going to go sew this down close to this folded edge here. All right, so this is my piece of elastic. I've cut it to four inches. You can cut it to three and a half is fine, anything in that area. This is a quarter inch elastic. You can also use an eighth inch elastic. Either one is fine. I've just gone ahead and put a safety pin in the end of it, which is an easy way to thread it through the casing. So I'm going to put the safety pin in, pull the elastic through, and when the end gets right to the end here, I'm just going to sew that down in place. You can pin it first if you find that easier. And then continue pulling the elastic through. Take the safety pin off, but you're holding on to this end of the elastic so it doesn't retreat back into the fabric. And then sew the other end down here. So this is just going to create a little pouch at the back of the cap in case somebody has um, a ponytail or longer hair that they need to put in there. So the next step is to take your two whale pieces. We're going to place these right, open them up. So you've got long pieces. We're going to place them right sides together like this. And we're going to sew almost all the way around all the edges. You do need to leave about a three inch opening. I like to leave it somewhere around here on this rounded side um, because we're going to turn it all right side out after we sew the seam. So if you're comfortable just sewing this like this, go ahead. Um, if you want to pin it, that's fine too. I'm just going to go ahead and sew it in place. Um, I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. When you get to the corner, just leave your needle in, turn your fabric, keep going around the next edge again, around the bottom. Just adjust your fabric as you go along, keep the edges where they belong. So you can see I started sewing here. I'm going to stop you know, roughly three inches ahead of that. And that's going to be the hole that I use to turn it right side out. All right, so go ahead and turn this right side out. And then the easy way to turn these straps is to take something long and thin. I tend to use a, the eraser end of a pencil but you can use knitting needles or chopsticks or 
or do you, whatever you've got around that can help you to just poke these ties out. So once you finish turning it all right side out, you're going to want to press it. And when you get to the opening where you turned it, just make sure that both sides have the raw edges folded over. We're going to sew those closed in a minute. So we'll just take this over the machine and sew this opening closed right close to the edge. Alright, so now we just need to sew these two pieces together. So first fold this piece in half. We need to know where the top of it is. So I just pinch it with my finger. You can mark it with a marking pen if you find that easier. And then we're going to do the same thing with this balloon piece. We're going to fold it in half and just mark the top edge right here. Then we're going to put these two pieces right side together, marking, matching those marks that we just made. We're going to pin or clip it right there. Then we're going to continue pinning these two pieces together. We're going to go from the center down to the part that we hemmed and just keep rotating this curved edge to line up with the edge that's already finished underneath it. We're going to attach them all the way down to the bottom where the hem or the elastic is. And then go back and do the same thing on the other side, starting from the center, going all the way down to the hem or the casing. And now we're going to sew this seam, starting right here at the hem, again using about a half inch seam allowance. And then back stitching at the end to lock it. Just pull out your pins or your clips as you go along. Just take this slowly because it's a curved seam. And just keep adjusting underneath to make sure you haven't caught the underneath fabric. Make sure it's right where you want it, lined up with the raw edge. Now at this point, the cap is basically finished. You just need to turn it inside out. Um, we recommend that you strengthen this last seam because there is still a raw edge here. So if you've got a serger, um, you serge around that seam, just disengage the knife uh, so the finished edge underneath doesn't get caught in it. Um, without a serger, the easiest way to do it is just to use a zigzag stitch. So you'll go back, stitch that same seam again, and you're just gonna sew the zigzag between the seam and the raw edge, just to protect that from fraying. Right side out, and it's all finished. There's your scrub cap. Thanks.